welcome to the Singapore Flyer. This is where you get the best view of the circuit, unless, of course, that you've got the chance to sit in a Red Bull, and that's exactly what these men can do. Well, two of them, Sebastian Vettel, Mark Webber, Christian Horner, and Adrian Newey. Sebastian, let's start with you. It wasn't the championship today, but it was a pretty dominating win. Are you happy? Today was incredible, you know. Uh, from start to finish, the car was fantastic. We uh, were able to pull out a huge gap to the cars behind. Obviously, the safety car in the middle of the race didn't help us, but still, you know, didn't stop us. So uh, it was great. As I said, uh, every time I had to push, I had, you know, the feeling and the, the comfort to do it. So um, yeah, we got it. We got it done. I'm very happy because I really like the track. I think it's a special race, uh, special atmosphere. Just look down. So you know, I'm very happy. Mark, it was a third place for you today. Do you leave Singapore with a smile on your face? Pretty satisfied, really. I think, um, yes, it would have been nice to have a, a, a cleaner start to the race. We obviously lost a lot of time behind Fernando, which uh, is possible around here because it's a tight, twisty track. Overtaking we knew was going to be pretty tricky. The DRS uh, zone was pretty short, so uh, that made uh, the overtaking uh, only possible really around the stops. So uh, we got there eventually, and uh, by then, uh, you know, Seb and JV were into a rhythm out in front, obviously off the back of the safety car, had some reasonable pace on the on the on the prime with uh, with JV, and uh, he was pretty quick in the last stint. To be fair, he was on a, on a good level. So I think ultimately um, is is probably what I deserved today. Uh, you know, Seb drove a great race for the victory, and um, it was a good podium for us. Christian, you're going to need a new ankle soon. It's moving so much this season. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of heights as well. Actually, so, uh, no, I mean it was. Uh, a Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a fantastic day for the team. I mean, Sebastian just was, you know, he was awesome, particularly the first half of the race. And uh, the left-hand side of the grid seemed to to all lose out. So, you know, that put Mark uh, down a couple of positions, but some some great moves on on particularly Fernando, which have been who's been fairly mugged by these two. The last three races now to uh, you know to get back up onto the podium. So, so it's uh, it's been a great weekend for the whole team. Adrian, when your team is very much in control of a race and control of a situation, and you see a lot of emerging in the pits, did your heart rate go up a little couple of beats? Yeah, it certainly did. Yes, I mean we could kind of see it from the end of the pit lane live. And frankly, that was a bit close, but uh, luckily Heike saw seven and there's no contact. You know, I made it clear going into the race that I do not want any updates whether, you know, we are in a good position or not. A little bit similar to Abu Dhabi, obviously. Uh, now we obviously uh, look forward to the next race and hope to increase the lead a little bit more. Some drivers seem magnetic to each other and you and Fernando Alonso always seem to be jostling from Spa onwards. You put some nice moves past him today. Yeah, I think... Uh... Yeah, Fernando was, I think, uh, unusually for them, uh, you know, struggling a bit with the rear tyres. So uh, he was uh, not too bad in the last sector, but in the first two sectors he was struggling a little bit. So um, for him to uh, get the car into and off the off the low, low speed stuff uh, was wasn't easy for him. So I decided to, uh, yes, make a, a move on on the track at turn 14, which worked out okay. And then um, I lost out uh, around the stop a little bit, I think. So he got back ahead. And then, um, yes, after the, the safety car, I had a chance to attack him into turn 10, which is not without its risks, obviously, because it's very, very narrow down there with the, uh, with the curving. The season we had so far, uh, it should be in reach, but uh, as I said, you know, we still have to get that point. Well, apart from Christian, who's scared of heights, I'll let you all enjoy the view. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>